Hi friends. So I think I've made one video this year and I'm here to fix that right now. This is going to be a little chat about journaling and planning and simply why I prefer notebooks that are not so special. Okay. Here is everything I have used this year in 2024. Um, I plan to kind of show you all of these and talk about them a little bit. So let's start with the ones I've already kind of abandoned, not kind of, I actually did abandon these before they were finished. And I will let you know why. Um, I will also be doing a little flip of them. Uh, so I started to destroy my 2024 planning system around I don't know, maybe June or even May. No, I think it was June this year. Actually, the first one to go was my Midori Hibino. This one I only had for three months. So, first of all, this notebook was like super special to me. It was I loved it uh, and I, I think it took me at least a year to decide that I want it and that it would be worth the price for me. So for 2024 I bought it and I was so excited to use this one. Uh, so you might know that it's not this thin. This is actually only three months here. And this one is actually super thick. But what I did was uh, 4th of April, I kind of decided that this is not for me. And I need to try something new. So I took a little knife and just cut off the rest of the pages. And the rest of the pages are actually here. I made three of these cute little notebooks out of them. And this is a passport size, so I can use these in my Passport Traveler's Notebook, if I want to. So, none of the uh, empty pages actually went to waste, which is nice. First, I did love using this because it's so freaking cute. The grid is so small. And the pages look really cute. And then at some point I felt this strange, not kind of pressure, but like this feeling that I have to keep making it beautiful, that I have to, it has to be pretty because how much did I pay for this notebook? I think it was like 60 euros plus shipping. So it's really expensive. And also it looks beautiful. Everything about it is just extremely beautiful. So obviously I wanted my pages to also be really beautiful. And that kind of took away a little bit of 
freedom, a little bit of creativity. And you can see towards the end, I kind of started to not care so much. And my pages got a lot simpler. And then I finally decided that it's time <laughs> to change. This simply is not for me. Also because the predated uh, pages. So I destroyed this one and moved all of my journaling into this one. This one is a 500 page uh, traveler's notebook insert from Sterling Inc. And I started to kind of journal in this in the beginning of the year. So if this Hibino was more for like my to-do list every day and just some reflections, this was more in-depth journaling. Um, yeah. So around uh, what month was it? April. Around April, I uh, moved all of my journaling here. I moved all of the daily pages, the to do lists in here. And for a while, I loved it. Um, I could be a little bit messier, a little bit more free in here, as you can see. Um, I did some random art journaling. I also have ugly pages in here. I have simple writing. And then I started to do my daily pages in this in this journal. Then Yeah, for a while I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the thickness and I loved that I could keep it in my Traveler's Notebook cover. I used my olive cover with this one. And then towards the end of this summer, I kind of started losing interest in journaling. And I really don't know what happened. I just didn't feel that kind of a spark, if that makes sense. The way I fixed it was simply to change what I use to something that inspires me more. Which at the time was moleskin. So the thing about this one again is that it's, it felt really special to me. Because I really wanted this insert for a long time. It's really beautiful. I love, I love the paper, I love the pages. Kind of 
everything about it. It's simply beautiful. And then I felt like I need something more simple. I don't know if that makes sense. So I reached for my Moleskin Expanded that has been sitting empty for a long time. And it's simple, simple notebook with maybe not so good paper, simple lined layout. And this simply just got me writing again. Uh, writing and making spreads, keeping my journal. It really inspired me because you know, this notebook is really nothing so special. And that makes me love it even more, if that makes sense. Because I don't really have to care if I make an ugly page, if I just write a grocery list, if, um, if it's just something random like this. Uh, it gives me more freedom. Uh, yeah, I just saw some bird outside. I think it was a hawk. So that kind of caught my attention for a while. <laughs> so anyway, I feel like the more precious a notebook feels to me, the more I am kind of scared to use it and the more I'm kind of restricted with my creativity and restricted with my writing because, you know, I want my handwriting to be neat and beautiful and I, run, I want the spreads, I want it to look, you know, organized. And I want it to be, I just want it to be like pretty. But with this, I don't care. It's just, it's different. And it gives me so much more freedom in my writing, journaling, whatever it is. And Actually, yes, my original inspiration to use this exact notebook is Michelle from Seaweed Kisses, and she talks about it a lot. Uh, I have the same, what she talks about, how the notebook that is not so special gives you more freedom, and I really feel that. So that's why I've been loving using this notebook. Also, it has so many pages. I'm not, I'm not scared of wasting the pages. So this is my journal I use right now. And I, I really, truly love it. I used every single day. Sometimes I do something like this. Sometimes something like this. Sometimes I write my grocery lists, my meal plans. Then it's like a daily log of to-dos, of what's going on, what I'm doing what happened, how I'm feeling. Yes, so, yeah, that's my journal. And mm, I love how thick it's already looking, even though I still have quite a lot to go. 
Let's talk about the planners. The first planner I used this year was also from Sterling Inc. Uh, it was the... I don't really remember how they uh, name these planners, but this is the common planner that fits the regular uh, traveler's notebook. And this is the layout, this um, landscape layout. Uh, I also love this first. It was really beautiful. I loved using it. And then the same thing happened. It started just feeling too beautiful. It started feeling too special. I felt like my ugly, kind of messy style of keeping a planner kind of just did not fit uh, the pages. And I know it might not make sense. It's more like a feeling. It's not, it's not necessarily that this is true. Because I know some of you might look at it and say like, what's, what's wrong with that? Like, that's, that looks nice. But for me, it just did not uh, feel nice. It, it's more of a feeling. Um, yeah, this planner felt simply too beautiful. So what I did, I didn't want to buy a new one because I didn't know what I want to use. So I simply made one. I made one homemade weekly planner, which is here in pieces now because I also destroyed it. Yeah, everything is kind of in pieces, but you know, I don't care. And for a moment, I kind of released my inner mess in this homemade insert. I tried a different layout here, tried the vertical one. Uh, this one I used from June to the end of October, I think. I'm just gonna do a quick flip here. Then you can see it slowly gets emptier and emptier. And I quit using this one. And for a while, for a few weeks, I simply drew my own planner layout in this small skin journal. So that's what I did for a few weeks. And at the same time I was thinking like, what do I want to use in 2025? Because I knew mm, I have to make a decision sooner or later. And I just really did not want to, I didn't want to go ahead and decide what I want to use for the next year, because obviously I couldn't decide what to use this year either. So what I did was I decided to 
set up my <clears throat> traveler's notebook with the simple undated traveler's company inserts. Again, um, these inserts, they feel super basic to me. They feel not so special. And even though this has the same layout as this one, it's just a different style. This is, it looks neat and it looks beautiful and I feel like this is, it's just kind of more rough, if that makes sense. It's not so delicate as this one. So I love using these inserts because again they just don't feel that special. <laughs> and because of that I feel like my planning is really just relaxed and I can make a mess. I can make it ugly. I can make it whatever. I don't have that feeling that, oh my god, my spread needs to be beautiful. Or my handwriting needs to be beautiful or anything like that. I can just... I can just do. I can make a mess. And I can... Kind of... please my own creative spirit instead of feeling like I have to be making something beautiful. And again, this is just a personal feeling. It's just how I feel with this. And these notebooks and inserts. You might not see it in the same way. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel and I found this planner and journal piece now because I decided, start, uh, I decided to start using this less, less beautiful, less special inserts. Just going for something really basic and creating from there. So here is what I'm using right now, these two, and I feel really at peace with this setup. The other thing I feel really at peace is for the weekly pages being undated, because um, next year I'm not going to work. And also that's one of the reasons I didn't want to choose a planner for next year. Because I don't know how much I'm going to be using a planner. I know I'm going to need the monthly so that I can just put down appointments. But I don't know how much I'm going to be using a weekly planner. So this being undated means that I did not waste my money. I can just continue from here whenever and it doesn't matter if a week or two or even a month goes by and I just don't use it. There will be no uh, wasted pages. So that's one of the reasons I went for the undated ones. And now I'm all set up for next year with these two. Just gonna continue using these. And I feel really happy that I don't have to think about it anymore. 
and I feel really happy that I feel my planner and journal piece in these two. So what do you think? Do you love using these special beautiful notebooks? Or do you also, also prefer something more simple that doesn't feel so special? Um, also, on Instagram and everywhere, I know how people say the small skin paper is so bad, but you know what? I use this pen. I don't use uh, fountain pens in this one, so I don't care. It doesn't matter to me at all. I love how this gel pen, it kind of sinks into the paper and I don't know if you can see this, but it leaves this. I know some people cannot stand this, but I love how you can feel the writing from the next page. I just love how that feels. All right. Yeah, it's, it, it gives me this kind of sensory pleasure <laughs> to have the writing really come up like this. Uh, this is a gale gel pen from Muji. Uh, I feel like this is the best combo, like this small skin paper this pen, this pen just really sinks into the soft paper and yeah, I love the feeling of that. So that's it. Let me know your thoughts below. I will try to remember to check my comments. I admit that I'm really bad at it, but you will get an answer at some point. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. Let me know what you want to know. And see you next time. Bye.